Hi, I'm Tom D and in this video I want to show you how to send alerts from Kibana to Microsoft Teams channel. Let's start. To use Teams and channels you need to start paid version, business version. So I encourage you to start trial version for free. You can see multiple options under the tab for business. So choose the one that is convenient for you and click on try free for one month. Here fill up the form and finish the setup. Once you finish setup for Teams, you need to create a new channel after logging in to the Teams. So click on add channel. Here specify a name for a channel, let's say Elastic. You can choose description. Cluster. Yeah. Click add. Now you can choose a connectors to choose a webhook connector. Type webhooks under the search and choose this incoming webhook. Click on add. Time to configure that webhook. Under the list choose configure. Now you can change the image and you can specify name. Elastic tough coding. That will be the name of that webhook. You can upload your favorite image to be displayed as an icon. Once well done, click on create and that will generate webhook URL. This web webhook URL you should save somewhere because it will be needed for Elasticsearch for Kibana to connect. To finish, click on done. You can also manage that webhook that you created by clicking on manage. Close the window. Channel in Teams and webhook are right now created. Now it's time to look after Elasticsearch and Kibana. To run Elasticsearch and Kibana, important is to understand that the functionality that I will show you is under license version is not in the basic free version. Therefore, when you will start Elasticsearch, you will start your trial and that will be specified under environment variable. Okay, let's do this. First, create the network Kibana and start Elasticsearch. Notice this uh, environment variable XPack license self-generated type trial. This is required to make things work. Let's start it. Once Elasticsearch is started, open another terminal and start Kibana. But before starting that, it's important to generate encryption key for encrypted saved objects. For that, you can use echo command and pass some string. Pass some string into the SHA sum or any function that can generate hash because it must be long at least 32 characters. Here is 64, that's fine. If you want, you can always cut it with head and specify 32, but I will use 64. And now I can assign it to variable XPack encrypted saved objects underscore encryption key. So I will copy that, assign the variable, and now start Kibana. And you can see I'm using that variable for this environment variable XPack encrypted saved objects encryption key. Let's start it. Okay, here is a code. So I, you can open the browser right now and as a parameter type code equal what was written there. What left to be done is enrollment token and reset password for Elasticsearch. So open third terminal, first command to connect into container of Elasticsearch and run this program Elasticsearch 
reset password to reset password for elastic user yes specify the password and secondly to generate an enrollment token copy that enrollment token and place it here in the web browser so now it's configuring kibana if it's hanging at the last step you can refresh the page and type elastic as a user and your password now kibana is up and running elastic search is up and running so we can go to the next step to set up monitoring for elastic search and make alerts send messages to teams go to the left upper corner and choose this hamburger icon click on stack monitoring over here and choose self monitoring turn on monitoring in the right upper corner there's alerts and rules choose create default rules click on create now again choose there's a message new alerts created now choose manage rules and under cluster half choose edit now in the under the select a connector type list of icons is visible here the icons will be gray out if you haven't run the trial version if you haven't run elasticsearch license version because for free version is gray out choose microsoft teams and choose create connector now you need to provide your webhook url over here if you forget you can go back to your channel click on connectors configured and choose the one that you configured before and click on manage here you can copy again the webhook url to clipboard specify the name kibana and save it save changes to that rule and click on cluster health rule no items found means that there is no change right now in the cluster health although the rule is run every one minute you can also click on edit and make it run every second just for testing purposes save it now to make the cluster not green but yellow create that uh, mapping that we have number of replicas 100 okay the cluster half now is yellow let's see that on kibana Here refresh alerts refresh now it's active let's check if the message about that change was sent to teams yes there is a change current health is yellow now let's delete that index check the status is green refresh recovered so this is how it works Whenever cluster will change its health status to yellow or, or red, it will send the alert to Microsoft Teams chat, to Microsoft Teams channel.